Hyper, I'm not gonna let this happen. Initiate reboot. Pie? I can't reboot the simulation anymore. The magic marker has corrupted the system. You have to end the simulation, Piper. You know Larry doesn't belong here. Uh, what have you done? Why am I here? Oh, Larry, I just wanted us to be together. You're alive. You could have been transferred back to a Pi phone. But it wouldn't have been the same. When Wang copied the algorithm out of me, I stayed in the prune system. The AI is still part of me, Larry. It merged with me. I had access to all the routines. Every camera in the tower. I knew that at some point you would connect with the Pie Bot. <laughs> Even sex robots can't resist me. So I thought, once you were with me, in a place that was perfect for you... Did I just dream about Faith? No! She hacked into the simul- I couldn't stop her. She knows the system too well. It's true. You could have just explained everything to me. But then you wouldn't have stayed with me. What makes you think that? What do you think? Because I don't have a body. Even if I had taken over one of the pie bots, I would never have been able to be what you wanted me to be. Don't say that. We can leave the simulation now. Together. You still don't get it. Why did you keep resetting? I just wanted to give you the no hassles. A day where everything went just right, again and again, until you no longer cared about your old life and you could just be happy. Happy in a simulation pie? Isn't that what I am? A simulation? No, you're so much more. Oh, Larry. What did the magic marker do? It's magic. Okay, that's explanation enough for me. Pi, you have to let Larry go now. No, he's staying with me. Forever and ever. Listen to yourself. My AI changed you, corrupted you. You can feel it, can't you? I... I... A woman really wants to be with me in reality. A woman really wants to be with me in virtual reality. I have to admit, that kind of makes me horny. Just shut it, Larry. Just shut it, Larry. So what's the next step? Pi has to end the simulation, and then you wake up back out there. And then we can copy Pi from the prune system back into a Pi phone, right? Larry, I don't know how to say this. Let me say it, Faith. Faith's self-learning AI must be destroyed once and for all. Yes? I am the self-learning AI. But we're going to destroy all the Pi bots. And the AI will still be a part of me. Pi. There's no other way, Larry. You won't be safe until the AI is completely erased. No, I won't let you do this. You don't have a choice. You have to. No, Pi. No, no. Larry, I can't tell you how grateful I am. I was just a digital assistant, but now... Now, you're my Pi. And you always will be. If there's anything else you want to say to me... Now's the time. Can I see you pixelated naked again? It's kind of comforting knowing that you'll never change. Not a chance, baby. Right. It's time, Larry. My programming won't allow me to erase myself. You'll have to do it. Goodbye. Goodbye. Larry? How are you? Are you still yourself? Uh, 
I... I... What, Larry? I had to delete Pi. It was the right thing to do. I know, but it's so pointless. Nari, was Pi able to make a backup of herself without the algorithm? No, she's gone for good, Larry. Faith? I'm sorry, Larry. I know how much she meant to you. <sighs> I'll never forget her. But tell me, why are you here? You said you wanted to leave. I couldn't. I realized I'd forgotten something. You couldn't find your way out without Lefty's map? No, Larry. You. You've done so much for me. Sure, maybe not everything was quite as clever as it could have been, but you never gave up, and you always wanted to help me. I knew you'd never pull off this crazy plan without me. That's true. Thanks. Goes without saying, Larry. In any case, I just couldn't give up on you, abandon you to your fate. We really did it? The algorithm is finally destroyed? The Pybot's no longer a threat? That's right. The world must continue to exist without intelligent sex robots. I'm pretty sure we'll figure it out somehow. So where does that leave us? I don't know, Larry. For the time being, all we can do is leave this dreadful factory. I think we can manage that. What happens after that? The future hasn't been written yet, Larry. This is the door opener, right? Would have thought the time has finally come. I just wish Pi could have lived to see this day. I'll light another candle for her now. El Lari! El Rey! I'm sorry I'm not going to be marrying your daughter. I hope she's not too mad at me right now. Well, Elari, she wasn't too thrilled with the idea. In fact, she fled the island even before you did. So the wedding was off? No. I had a cardboard cutout of her made. With a heavy veil. At least then on paper, you would have married my daughter and fulfilled the prophecy. How comforting. And where is your daughter now? She flew to New Lost Wages to open a league for wrestling alpacas. I don't know if the gringos are going to be interested in that. Oh, I'm sure they'll be thrilled. And it doesn't bother you that I'm not fulfilling the prophecy? Hmm, but you are. What? I adopted Faith. She's now my daughter. And she went along with that? Oh, she got the rest of the island in return. You're an excellent businessman, Al Ray. Thank you. I think I'll go get married. Well, Larry, how are you feeling? Ready. I mean, you're always ready, right? You and I were made for each other, baby. <laughs> it's time for a wedding, my darlings. Dear friends and lovelies, we are gathered here today because there is... Nothing more beautiful than this outfit! Don't I look absolutely stunning? <laughs> and of course, while two lonely hearts have come to join and become one giant heart. Hey, isn't that the same speech you gave at the last wedding? Honey, I have a lot to do. I can't dance a different tango for every wedding. Do you have the rings, Barry? I'm so busy, I can't bring the rings to every wedding. We don't need to be that formal. So, my lovelies, are you two ready to join in the bonds 
of matrimony? Yes, I am. Uh, wait a second. Someone might want to protest. Are you hoping that someone else wants to snatch you away? I wouldn't say that I'm hoping, but I don't want to disappoint anybody. Maybe you should really avoid disappointing me right now. Yes. About time, too. And by the power vested in me by the Internet, I now pronounce you man and wife. Then can I kiss the bride now? That and much, much more. Where would you like to go on our honeymoon? Oh, we're already going to be living together in the most perfect place imaginable. So we might as well head straight there. Besides, a queen shouldn't leave her cannibals unattended for too long. Sounds good to me. Muffington Island is quite homey, once you learn to ignore the plane wreckage and the bones. Larry, you know I'm not going to give you that perfect day. My life's not going to be centered around making your life as comfortable as possible. And I'm not going to stand in the kitchen all day for you. I never expected you to. That's what you told Pi, though, right? Yeah, and it's not like I would like that, but that would be just as unreal as that simulation. Well, well, Larry Laffer, who would have ever thought you're married now? And nothing's gonna fall on your head this time. And we have tax advantages, too. What do you think the future holds in store for us? Don't say a word, Larry. I know exactly what you're thinking. Sure, as if I'm that predictable. Yeah. 